can never ever have cereal with warm milk because cereal with warm milk is a recipe for vomit. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's Lombe again and I am back with another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome, my name is Lombe. Make sure you click the subscribe button on your way out because it's not for free, okay? <laughs> Make sure you click the subscribe button if you're new and also turn on your post notification bell so that you're informed every time I upload a video. And if you're not new to this channel, welcome back sis, how you doing? <laughs> I haven't been recording as frequently as possible so this feels really weird like my my camera screen looks so tiny so I'm trying to like see myself but anyway in today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys 50 facts about me that you probably don't know so because there's 50 of them we have to run through this video like we ain't got no time time is not my friend <laughs> if you're my close friend you most likely know a little less than half of these there's some of these facts i've never told anyone and some of them i have told people so it's gonna be bamboo jumbled so if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up share it and leave a comment as well and don't forget to follow me on my instagram i'll put my name right here as usual and let's get into this video So I have everything written down so that I don't forget and I want to run through them as quickly as I possibly can. If you relate to something I'm saying, make sure you comment down below and yeah. <laughs> okay. Number one, I have a terrible habit of chewing my fingernails and I got this habit in grade 7. I saw someone chewing her nails and I was like, that looks so cool, let me, let me chew mine as well. <laughs> don't ever do it, it's disgusting, it's a nasty habit but I can't help it so. <laughs> I have 32 plus beauty spots on my body and if you're my close friend I've probably mentioned this to you before I'm obsessed with my beauty spots like I have over 32 I can't show you now because I can show you two I can show you two of them wait let me I have these ones I always show people these ones I've never been pierced in my life and I don't intend on being pierced sorry <laughs> I'm 5'2". I don't know if that's really tall or if that's short, but I'm 5'2". I can never ever have cereal with warm milk because cereal with warm milk is a recipe for vomit. <laughs> I don't even understand you people who have it with warm milk. Like, that's just disgusting. I'm actually smarter than I look. A lot of people look at me and they're like, oh, you know, love is funny. She's like, she laughs a lot. And one time someone actually said, if that girl isn't smart, I'm not bragging about anything. I'm not being cocky about anything i'm just stating facts i would say in my se senior secondary i was an a student like for three years i was the third highest in my class and yeah i think that says enough that says enough <laughs> i was 25 25 24 so <laughs> My favorite part of my body is my feet. I am obsessed with my feet. No one can tell me nothing about my feet. You can never make me feel insecure about my feet, okay? Whether you hate them or not, they're my feet. Get with the program, point blank, period. And I'm obsessed with them, period. I've never broken a bone in my life. Like, my whole body, I've never broken a single bone. I used to play in the house. I wasn't like people used to jump out of trees trying to get mangoes. I've never broken anything. I've had four surgeries and they've been done in my mouth. I've never cut open any single part of my body. I had braces for five years and a lot of people like to tell me, Lombe, your smile is so perfect, your teeth are so perfect. I really honestly had braces from grade 8 to grade 12. I only took them out this year actually. I kind of miss them. Never been admitted into hospital. I have only... I think the closest I've been to being really really sick is us. I had to have surgery done in my intestines one time that's the closest I've been to <laughs> otherwise I've never been admitted into hospital I hate hospitals like I ran away from that surgery <laughs> I have trifophobia now listen trifophobia is not necessarily a phobia but it's a disgust for clustering of circles I hate awkward circles like 
ah there was this one picture i saw and this person had holes in their hands i was like oh my god i hated french class when i was in ninth grade and i will tell you guys on a later day but i ah, just know i hate i would only memorize things i wanted to memorize because our teacher wouldn't let us out of class unless we spoke french to her yeah so the only things i would like properly memorize is can i go to the bathroom i'm tired i'm done with my work otherwise the rest i just deliberately didn't want to learn i cannot eat egg yolk because i would throw up like i can't i don't like eggs i will only have eggs in an egg sandwich like i get toast and a fried egg and i can't see and i'll put so many stuff like i'll put tomatoes onions everything so that i can't see the yolk because if i see egg yolk if i taste it in my mouth i would like throw up i hate it eat peanut butter with almost everything like especially in jungle oh it's like i will get toast bread and put like um butter and peanut butter and then i'll shred it and put it in jungle oats don't comment anything because it's the best meal ever okay <laughs> Disgusting. my go-to breakfast is toast and marmalade i actually just had that just now i love marmalade i like strawberry jam lemon jam everything jam mm -hmm. if it's sweet i'm gonna eat it <laughs> i hate geckos and bugs and insects i hate if there's a gecko in my room i won't sleep here until someone comes to murder it <laughs> i'm not sleeping in that room and that's because of something that happened to me in boarding school but i'll tell you a story time on that later on I love Billie Eilish and before I never loved Billie Eilish Mulewa don't comment on this okay <laughs> don't comment I never liked Billie Eilish because I, I didn't know who she was and I would hear her music from somebody else and I'm like what but after a while I came across one of her songs and I was like oh I'm size 5 my birthday is in August make sure you mark the date I'm size 5 thank you <laughs> I prefer blue jeans to black jeans not that I don't have black jeans I have like four pairs of black jeans but blue jeans i've had i have billions <laughs> the craziest thing i've ever done not the craziest but this is something i remembered i sprayed perfume in my mouth one time because i brushed my teeth in the morning and i ate food and my mouth tasted bitter right and i was like what if my breath is stinking because my mouth tastes bitter so um your girl didn't have gum so i sprayed perfume in my mouth <laughs> It was disgusting. I choked like I was about to die. I said saying prayers for my death, but God saved me because I serve a living God. <laughs> I'm afraid of bus trips. I don't like to. I can never go on a bus to Ndola. I can never go. But anyway, I only went on a bus to Ndola one time when I was going on a school trip and I was with my friends, so I was distracted from being on an actual bus. Otherwise, I hate bus trips. I am long sighted and I wear glasses actually. I don't wear glasses on my channel because I record using natural light and there's a window right here. So if I wear my glasses, it's gonna reflect the window and it, I don't like how that looks. Yeah, I'm long sighted and if you don't know what that means, it means I can see things that are far away more clearly than I can see things that are like right next to me. I can't read this like right now. I, I can't, it's just making my eyes hurt but yeah i'm long sighted my biggest pet peeve is loud chewing if you don't know what a pet peeve is it's something that really irritates you something that gets in your nerves i hate loud chewing like if you're gonna chew loudly don't eat eat alone we're not interested you sound like you've got crickets in your mouth like what is wrong with you it's outside I don't cry over movies. I haven't found a movie that's made me cry yet. And when I say movie, I mean like a movie movie I haven't found. I have only cried over two movies. And these were not even, these were cartoons. Otherwise, I didn't even cry over The Notebook. I didn't even cry over Me Before You. Me Before You nearly made me cry, which means that's a really good movie because I don't cry for anything. I didn't even cry for Endgame. I didn't cry for nothing. <laughs> um, I did cry when I watched Coco and big hero 6 because that was just so sweet otherwise i don't cry i didn't even cry for titanic like <sighs> i've never been expelled in my life like i hate being in trouble especially at school like i i hate it i panic so much i hate being in trouble for anything I, i'm such a mommy's girl i'm my mother's child like ah my mom is like my everything like <laughs> If my mom's not there, when I was in boarding school, when I first went to boarding school, I never even used to cry for my dad. They never used to cry for my sisters. I wasn't interested. I used to cry for my mom. Like, okay, I never cried, but I would miss my mom. You know what I'm saying? Because I follow her like an insect. <laughs> I'm right-handed, but I can write with my left a little bit. It's something that takes practice. I, I can write clearly, 
with my left hand but I'm right-handed I'm terrified of elephants terrified because wh when I was little I must have been like two years old my mom and my dad used to watch Nat Geo World right so there would be this advert of an elephant and I'll be sitting right in front of the screen and this elephant would just be standing there really still and then all of a sudden it just starts running towards the screen and I will run and I will cry blood and sweat <laughs> because I was since then I hate elephants like when you told me there's an elephant there I'm gonna black out I have a little hole in my ear which looks like a piercing but it's not a piercing I will put a picture right here I think but it, lo it looks like a piercing but it's not and I don't know what it means and I don't know why it's there but I have it my favorite Avengers are Captain America, Thor, and Spider-Man. Don't at me. I'm obsessed with avocados and mangoes. I love avocado and toast, like, and mangoes, oh my god. I have um, allergic reactions to a lot of stuff. Mostly, I'm, a, I'm allergic to pork. I'm allergic to some mincemeat, like, I swell. I actually had an allergic reaction a few days ago, and that's why I didn't record, but... I get hives on my back, I swell, it's just, uh, it's disgusting. I can't swallow pills for anything in my life, like, I will swallow a pill with a whole cup of water. I don't like swallowing pills. My longest friendship lasted 12 years and it's actually still ongoing, shout out to Chimbe. My favorite subject when I was in high school was biology. Like, people will be struggling in class with biology, like, nah, this stuff is hard, and I'm there, like, smiling and enjoying the biology. <laughs> And that's the reason I want to be a doctor, I guess. I'm Seventh-day Adventist. I'm sure I've already mentioned this a billion times. I'm very proud of it. And I'm not Tonga. No, I'm Bemba. So don't ask me if I'm Tonga. <laughs> I sang in a children's choir for more than half of my life. And I guess that's kind of where I learned how to sing. No, I'm not going to sing on this channel for anything. If you want to hear me sing, DM me. <laughs> I am obsessed with stuffed animals and flowers. Like... If you want to make me happy, buy me stuffed animals, buy me flowers, buy me chocolates. I love. <laughs> when I'm older, I want to have four children. But currently, my biggest fear is to have a child now. Like, what are you going to do with a child? When I was two years old, I think I was two, I learned how to cross my eyes. And I still know how to do it. It's like, yeah, I learned how to cross my eyes. And I still cross my eyes a lot. I used to do athletics when I was in school and yeah i wish i can only run i can't kick a ball for anything in my life like i just know how to run <laughs> i repeated baby class when i was younger not because oh love is dumb no but i was too young for the grade and my mom just decided to take me a grade back i don't regret it because i met some awesome people but yeah i'm turning 18 everybody knows that because i always post on my instagram <laughs> I would love to visit Nigeria and Bora Bora. I will go to Nigeria to perfect my Nigerian accent, but I love I would love to go to Bora Bora as well. I was born on a Monday at about 12 a.m. That's what my mom told me, if I'm mistaken. I don't know, but I was born on a Monday. <laughs> and I hate Mondays. <laughs> my celebrity crushes are Chris Evans and Luca Sabat. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I was in boarding school before I went to day school and I will tell a story time about that because a lot of people like to ask me my experience with boarding school but yeah I've been in boarding school before I hate being asked about my grades if you don't pay my school fees don't ask me my grades if we didn't write the exam together don't ask me my grades lastly I deliberately saved this one for the last one my fingernails on my right hand are bigger than the ones on my left hand and I really don't know why. I've been told that's normal. Like even when I'm having my nails done, I have to use different ones on this side and this side because my fingernails on this side are smaller than the ones on this side and I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you share with your friends and leave a comment as well. Let me give a shout out. My shout out today goes to Talitha McKay for the loudest comment on my previous video. If you want a shout out on my video, make sure you follow the instructions in the description box below. It's that little arrow on this side and I will give you a shout out in my next video. Thank you for watching.